On the 12th day of October, Halloween gave to me 12 fathers stripping, 11 au pairs drowning, 10 children creeping, 9 rotties seizing, 8 snowy mazes, 7 bacons digging, 6 doorways bending, 5 children yowling, 4 zombie bulls, 3 haunted mirrors, 2 monster houses, and a fog that makes it hard to see. Hey everybody, happy Monday, October 12th, uh, the 12th day in our journey through the 31 days of Halloween. Holy crap, can't believe we're already 12 days into this, folks. Uh, Look, I've been having a blast. Uh, As you know, the last couple of days, we've been taking a look at The Haunting of Bly Manor. So if you haven't listened to it and want to hear my thoughts on Haunting of Bly Manor, you know, there's roughly an hour of me talking about that show. Uh, about 15 minutes of it, uh, somewhat coherently, because uh, that, that show is uh, a bit scattered, I find, and it made me feel a bit scattered. Um, at any rate, uh, folks, uh, as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for celebrating Halloween with me. And and for day 12, we've got another new movie. This is one I, I haven't seen. This isn't a classic. Or is it? It isn't. But it is The Cleansing Hour. Uh, which just hit American Shutter recently. It is directed uh, by Damien Levesque, co-written by him and Aaron Horowitz. Uh, stars Ryan Guzman as Max, Maxi. Uh, Kyle Gallner, who I last remember from that terrible Nightmare on Elm Street remake, but he's pretty good in this. He plays a guy named Drew, um, who has been lifelong friends with Max. And the setup is that they have a web series called The Cleansing Hour. And what they do is they stage exorcisms. And then, of course, one night, uh, Drew's girlfriend kind of sits in for uh, the, uh, the actor who doesn't show up and was going to pretend to be possessed. And sure enough, she is for realsies possessed. And so begins a, a battle of wits and supernatural powers between uh, Father Max and this demon who is possessing uh, Andrew's girlfriend, and Andrew is sort of the producer of the show and kind of works the the panel and things like that. So um, that's the premise, and if you know me, uh, which I'm sure you do, you will know that I very much enjoy a movie where uh, like ghost hunters who fake something run afoul of something that's real, and this is sort of adjacent to that kind of trope and I'm I I will allow it in the court of Bo's horror uh we should give it a better name than that but (laughs) but in that court um I will allow it and so uh as things get kind of heated up uh you know the demon uh, makes Max reveal things uh about both the show to the audience and things like that And I don't want to get too spoilery. Uh, I will, let me say this about uh, The Cleansing Hour. It's it's certainly not a big budget movie, but I think they make the budget work. Um, I don't think every little piece of it works perfectly. There's kind of a subplot with one of the the grips (laughs) who's holding the boom mic. Um, maybe being possessed, but also maybe he's just on drugs and that kind of goes nowhere. Uh, some of the effects are a little bit dodgy, uh, particularly there's one fire sequence that I was like, eh, this definitely looks very computer graphics in a way that will not benefit it in a few years. I, I think Duncan said something in his review of the pool about how that CGI uh, crocodile is probably not going to age well, and that's kind of how I felt when I saw the some of the fire effects in in this movie. Um, but but th- those are my big complaints. What I will say is I think it's it's well acted. Um, I think it's uh, it's really fun, and that's what I was r- looking for. Like this movie really benefits from me coming out of Haunting of Bly Manor, which is this very somber, thoughtful affair, uh, regardless of you know, how I felt about the quality of it, it has a mood, and that mood is very somber, and very, uh, let's say, 
yeah, measuredly paced. And so it was nice to kind of jump into this movie that's, you know, an hour 40 long. It's got a nice uh, editing style. In fact, the, the director uh, has done a lot of editing work for reality shows. And, and that, I think, really helps this movie. It feels like it was made from somebody who kind of understands uh, that world a little bit. Um, but also there's some technical stuff that as someone who works in a technical field, I was like, mm, I don't, I mean, I, I, how do you portray this, uh, technical problem that you have in a visual way? I understand that, but it's also a little goofy. Um, but, uh, but again, I, you know, I, I think my quibbles with it are pretty minor cause I had a really good time watching it. There's a little bit of a creature feature aspect to it. And I'll say I like the ending. The ending's kind of bold, and and I really enjoyed it. It, in a weird way, it reminded me a bit of the conclusion of a dark song, in the sense that it was like, oh, okay, well, this is kind of going for it. All right, <laughs> you know, whether whether or not you think it's a perfect ending, it is an ending that uh, uh, that that seems to be swinging for the fences, and I appreciate that. So yeah, I don't know what more to say about the cleansing hour. Other than to recommend it. I think it's a good time. Um, you know, are there better movies uh, about possession? Sure. Are there better movies about someone being possessed online while the world watches and makes a sexy priest strip uh, at one point and put his hand in a ceiling fan? I don't know. Point them out. Uh, if you know of a movie like that, you can get in touch with me at Bo at legionpodcasts.com. That is B-O at legionpodcasts.com. So after <laughs> a, a, a pair of super long episodes about Haunting of Bly Manor, um, we're going to keep this one nice and short. And to say uh, the cleansing hour is a good time, I think you ought to watch it if you're looking for something uh, for a, a cool October evening. Uh, turn out the lights and, and pop some popcorn. I think you'll have a good time with it. We'll be back uh, tomorrow, of course with yet another uh, episode of the 31 Days of Halloween here on Legion Podcast. Of course, I'm not going to tip my my hat, tip my hand, or my hat, uh, my hat in hand, and tell you what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow. You're just going to have to come back and find out. Uh, in the meantime, have a great Monday. Have a great start to your week. And, of course, have a spooky Monday. And, uh, and I'll talk to you tomorrow uh, about another movie for our 31 Days of Halloween. So, until then, uh, goodbye. Goodbye.